I'm speaking to the hearts of my people, says the Lord. And only those who have an ear to hear, let them hear. Amen. This day, says the Lord, I'm reminding my righteous remnant that supernaturally speaking, they have the capacity through me to sense change before it happens. Amen. Thank you. Stay with me because this is where we live. We're actively engaged in kingdom living. And when you're actively engaged in kingdom living, you can sense things before they take place. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. So this is not a time slot to be shocked at the change that we see while it happens or try to figure out change after it happens. There's a level of awareness and sensitivity through Christ that's available to his righteous remnant where they can sense change before it takes place as we actively engage in kingdom living. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. I remember growing up and, you know, when I used to go out to the parties and come home the next day, and I would get home and I said, I should have followed my mind. I should have never went. Now, if I was thinking right and thinking how I should be thinking at this season in my life, which I wasn't at that time, I would have never went. Amen. But in this season of my life, I can sense where I need to go. Amen. Amen. I can Amen. sense how long I need to stay. Amen. In fact, I can sense when you get tired of my presence. Amen. Amen. Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Because we have that level of sensitivity. Amen. Because we have that capacity in Christ Jesus that you would know how to handle yourself wherever you go mm -hmm. and have the level of sensitivity as to whether or not you should go. Amen. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. That's the, that's the moment that we live in as we actively engage in kingdom living. Because every place is not your place. Amen. And every space is not your designated space. Amen. Amen. God will grace you if you're out of place in a space. Help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, he will. He'll cause you to be an overcomer wherever you go. Amen. But you got to yield. So when great change is in the atmosphere, says the Lord, this is a time to be still and seek my face. And how will you know what's happening in the spirit unless you inquire of me? Seek me early and seek me continually throughout your day in order to inquire of me relative to momentary happenings. When we're actively engaged in kingdom living, we don't live in a state of shock. Mm -mm. You hear me? Yes. Amen. Yes. yes. Stay with me now. Very, very important because the Lord wants to prepare us and he wants a readiness in our spirit to, to, to be able to uh, carry out the sovereignty of his perfect will for our lives in the moment. Help me, Holy Ghost. So in the moment while we're carrying out the will of God, it could also be the will of God to touch somebody else's life. Yes. But he wants to use you to do it. Amen. Are you with me, church? Yes. Yes. We're talking about the drugstore, the candy store, the restaurant, the mm -hmm. hair shop, the barber shop, mm -hmm. on the subway, on the bus. Yes. We're talking about in the lobby of your building. Mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. Because God is moving with such an accuracy and so expeditiously that we all need to be in the right place at the right time and not out of sync with God with an attitude. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, but we need to be present in our moments, present in our moments, so we have the awareness that's necessary to be who God wants us to be in that moment. Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, it ain't all about you. It ain't all about you. Oh, God, help us. Help us. It's about God getting his will done through you. Through you. Hallelujah. So remember, we are in a momentum of great change. And, and an intimate relationship with the Lord begins with a uh, reverent sense uh, that he is powerful, 
righteous and holy and that we dare not take him lightly because it goes on from being in awe of who he is to a sense of a deep security in troubled times. My God. Yes. So he's telling us, you can be in awe of me in troubled times because I'm going to move for you Amen. wherever you are. Thank you, Father. In the trouble, I'm already there. Amen. Remember, I'm a present help in the time of trouble. Amen. While you think I'm showing up, I'm already there. Yes. Oh, God, help us today. Yes. Help us today. I want to be in awe of who he is in troubled times. I'm not going to be stressed out. I'm not going to be worried. I'm not going to live in fear. I'm going to live in awe of who he is. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we can say as his righteous remnant that even in, in, in times of great change, our God will take care of us. Do you believe that? Yes. Do you believe that? Yes, he will. Oh, God, help us. Amen. The Holy Scriptures testify in Psalm 34, verses 9 and 10. Fear the Lord, you saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. Amen. Oh, those who fear him lack nothing. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Amen. That's my scripture. Amen. That's my scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's my scripture. Hallelujah. Lack no good thing. If you can just hold on to that scripture. You have that reverential fear of God. Mm. God's going to make sure you have whatever you need, whenever you need sure it. Will. Will. Don't stress out. Even if you wake up broke, by the end of the day, you won't be. I know that. So. If you believe. If you believe God. If you believe God. Oh, help us today, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 So there's a reverent fear that the Lord is seeking from those who belong to him in this hour that will position us in a place where there is no lack in our lives. This level of seeking God is where our heart trusts in God in, in, in such a natural way that we partake of what's supernatural. Stay with me. We're flesh and blood, blood and bone right here. Yes. And we're in a natural realm. And God is telling us that, that don't ever doubt that I can't meet you in this natural realm. Mm -hmm. And when you don't doubt that, you can have what I f have for you in a supernatural way. Amen. Amen. I'll meet you where you are yes. and bless you and blow your mind at the same time. Always. Amen. 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 Help us today. Hallelujah. Help us today, Father. Help us today. It's where he navigates us away from lack in order to bring us into unlimited provision. And as the Lord is supernaturally shifting things, we must also have the word of God hidden in our hearts. In troubled times, it serves as his supernatural GPS navigating system that alerts us when we are about to stray away from God. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Ever wind up in the wrong place at the wrong time and the Holy Spirit is telling you, get out. Amen. Yes. Yes. Why are you going? Yes. Why are you going to his house? Why are you going to her house? That's right. You know you shouldn't be here. Yes. Right. You know what's going to happen if you stay too long. Yes. That's the navigation system of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Talking to us all the time. When you go in that store, don't stay too long. Yeah. Don't park on that street. That's right. Go around the corner. Uh-huh. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Move to the next car. Yes. See, this is the navigation system of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Don't say that. Remember, last week he was reminding us that he can speak to you while you have nothing to say. Your mouth can be totally shut and the Holy Ghost can have a conversation with you and stop you from what you're about to do. Amen. Amen. That's right. And you can obey him in your spirit. Mm. And what the enemy meant for evil will never manifest. Amen. Oh, help Amen. us today, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Help us today, Hallelujah. Father. Hallelujah. 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 The Holy Scriptures testify in Psalm 119, verses 10 and 11. I seek you with my whole heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So the Lord is telling us when we get off course, His Holy Spirit and His Holy Word that's hidden in our hearts has a supernatural power to automatically rearrange our direction 
and scramble demonic signals from the enemy's camp Amen. that reposition our hearts not to sin against God. Yes. Oh, we're serving awesome God, church. Yes. Yes. There's something that's going on inside of you. It's the kingdom of God that's yes. at work in you, yes. communicating with you all the time. Yes. All the time, God is navigating you by his spirit throughout your day. And Amen. you've got to pay attention. Don't get caught up with all this stuff around you. Get caught up on the kingdom of God being activated in you yes. to direct you through the mess. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. I tell you this day by the spirit of the living God that there are supernatural side effects of seeking me, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will keep my holy word charged and alive in your hearts when you intentionally submit to the leading of my spirit. I will release supernatural electrical currents that keep your heart charged up by my Holy Spirit. Oh my God. He's telling us if you keep yielding, I'm going to keep charging you up. Yes. Thank you. You keep yielding to me, I'm going to charge you up to take you to your next level. You keep yielding to me and see what I do for you. Help me, Holy Ghost. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hallelujah. Charge me up, Jesus. Charge me up. Yes, no. You can be in the right place with the wrong people. Amen. And the Holy Ghost will charge you up yes. to handle yourself in that situation. Amen. The Holy Ghost, yes. you don't stand there. You won't be able to stand there and take on the confusion or, or take on the spirits of others that, that are attempting to seduce you in their direction. Uh -huh. You stand still, know the salvation of the Lord. You're strong in the Lord no matter where you are. And the Holy Spirit will be able to download inside of you the direction that you need to take to get out of the mess you're in. Yeah. Amen. Help me, Holy yes. Ghost. Yes, Lord. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, I will release new levels of revelation that will supernaturally enhance your understanding in the moment for your current situation. This is why it's so important for us to obey the revelation of the Lord. Because in the revelation of the Lord is the answer to your situation. Mm. Don't brush it off. Wow. God is telling, do this, do it. Amen. Because there's an outcome that's designated victory for you that's waiting to manifest on your behalf when you obey the revelation of the Lord. Are you with me, church? Amen. Are you with me? Are we in the moment together? Amen. So in the supernatural shift, the Lord is saying to his righteous remnant, the righteous already have an understanding of the sign of the times. Things are happening that are happening won't shock them. This is where wickedness my God, yes. is outwitted by righteousness. Woo! Oh my God, my God. Don't you know you can be in a wicked situation and the righteousness of God that's in you and on you and of who you are works on your behalf? Say yes, so, Apostle. Say so. Say so. Hallelujah. I fear no man. Amen. I have the reverential fear of God in my life. So I fear no situation. Nope. There's no place that you can exist that God is not there. Amen. Oh, God, I love God. I love God. Yes. Yes. We are somebody in God. Yes. We are chosen. We are his chosen generation. We are a peculiar people. That's who we are. Yes. That's who we are. You're not any old body. No. Don't let people get too familiar with you. You're not any old body. You belong to God. Yes. Yes. The Holy Scripture testified in Proverbs 28 and 5. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it fully. And so the Lord is saying that what the righteous have a right to know by my spirit, the wicked will never know. Amen. 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 In this momentum of great change, no one is authorized to undo what I've rearranged, says the Lord. But the righteous will know why I have rearranged things on their behalf. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, so, so this day, says the Lord, I'm reminding the righteous. They have the capacity through me to sense change before it happens. Mm. This is a time to be an eyewitness to change while it's happening because we have already sensed by the Spirit of God what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. No questions. 
Live in the moment. Stay in the moment with me. I'm almost finished. Amen. I'm almost finished, but I want you to take this in because this is applicable right now. Amen. Right now. This ain't in the by and by. I'm talking about living every day through Christ Jesus in a dying world. Yes. And living victoriously. Yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. The Lord will even show you who to have compassion for. Amen. Yes. Yes, he will. Yeah. Yeah. And he'll show you, don't pay them no mind. That's uh -huh. a trick. Uh -huh. yes. right. yes. That's a seducing yes. spirit. Don't yes. go for the okie doke. Yes. Yes. Oh, he'll show you. Yes, he yeah. will. The Holy Scriptures testify in Isaiah 55, verses 6 to 8. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he's near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the evil man his thoughts. And, and let him turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God who will freely pardon. Then he says, verse 8, For my thoughts are not your thoughts and neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. And the Lord is telling us, time is running out for man to turn around. A supernatural shift within time is an indication that we've been preordained to be based on the sovereignty of my perfect will in the earth that's unfolding at any cost. So what is he saying? I got to read it to you again because he's telling us when there's a supernatural shift that we are a part of, and I want to tell you right now, we're part of a shift. Amen. Yes. I don't know if you've been feeling a personal shaking, but you yes. should. Yes. Amen. And if there's a personal shaking, yes. there's a shifting. Amen. God is saying, don't do it that way no more. Yes. Do it this way. Yes. Change your behavior up in this situation. Yes. Yes. Let me shake yes. that mess out of you yes. while I shake things around you so that you can be positioned in the shaking to survive. Amen. Yes. My God. My God. So his, his perfect will is unfolding at any cost. The sovereignty of God is steamrolling the enemy's agenda. Amen. Oh God, help me Holy Ghost. Yes, no. Not that he had a chance from before the foundations of the world. God is showing up strong on behalf of his own people. Amen. And he's slaying that devil in your face. Yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. I can tell you even now that the schemes of the wicked are being exposed all around. Yes. Amen. And if you're yielded to the Spirit of God, you can see how the enemy is acting out his schemes, even against you, before you ask the person, why you do that to me? Yes. Amen. Help me, Holy Amen. Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. Why? We're actively engaged in kingdom living. Jesus, help me. Yes, Lord. I'm almost finished. I got a boy. Come on, what yes, to say to you. Yes, Lord. But I want you to be strong. Amen. You can't leave here and go to sleep. Amen. Half the church is sleeping. Amen. Half the church is sleeping. They just have in church. Wow. Yeah. The formula of church. Yeah. All right. yeah. That's it. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's Not up in here. Amen. Not up in here. We are the church. And we are a force to be reckoned with. And don't mess with me. Amen. I know Jesus. Who do you know? Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. That devil is so scared of you, and you still acting like you scared of him? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall be condemned. But this is the heritage of the children of the Most High God. Back up, devil. I rebuke you, and I bind you in Jesus' name. And God watches over this word. Yes. And he shuts that devil down. Right in your face. Right in your face. He'll shut him down. Yes. Oh, come on, church. Roll yes, with me today. I tell you this day, says the Lord, it's time to count the course and weigh your options as you engage in active kingdom living. While we still have time, it's worth it to gain. Is it worth it to gain the world and lose your soul? Mm -hmm. Options are only given within time because outside of time, there are no options, church. Like some folks didn't wake up this morning, but they haven't been identified yet. Jesus. Their options are over. Mm. Right now, 
we got options. Yes, yes. We yes. We're living, we're breathing, we got options. Yes. Help me, yes. Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Then he says, your thoughts are not my thoughts, uh, but you can surrender your thoughts to me and I will offer you sanctified options as you engage in kingdom living through my living truth. Oh my God. Anybody need a sanctified option? Amen. Because yes. his thoughts ain't my thoughts and my thoughts ain't his thoughts. I need the right thought. I need a sanctified option. There is a way out. There is a way out. There is a way of escape. He does go before us to make every crooked place straight. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when eternity swallows up time, your options and choices are locked in. Oh my God. And what we didn't turn away from, if you don't change, will continue to face you. Mm -hmm. And those that turn from their wicked ways will walk on my holy highway, says the Lord. Jesus. Watch your options. Why is he saying this to us? He says, be still, says the Lord, in this momentum of great change, because no one is authorized to undo what I've already rearranged. Amen. Some things remain and some things you'll never see again. Even people who were never ordained to be your friend. Amen. God is breaking up relationships. Amen. Yes. People that don't mean you no good, that are wicked towards you, Jesus. God is shutting those things down. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. so. Yes. Mm. And don't try to prolong a bad relationship because you need it. Help me, Holy Ghost. You better let that thing go. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 And the Lord is saying to us, and this supernatural momentum of change is being released from his throne room. What was preordained by me from before the foundations of the world relative to destiny and purpose, it will manifest. Yes. What I see relative to what needs to be will manifest because that is the way I preordained it to be from before the foundations of the world. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. His sovereignty is steamrolling demonic agendas. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, wickedness does have a deadline. Yes, yes. 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 It's got a deadline. Uh -huh. Things ain't always going to be the way it is now. Don't get comfortable. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. So the great I am is the only one who can authorize change over his own creation. Yeah. So what, uh, what I saw and what we see will manifest through the right door when we follow the Lord and we follow the leading of his Holy Spirit. He's telling us, I'm the door adjuster and I'm the heart tester. Yes. Oh, my God. That's so, so he's trying to to, to bring us into this alignment that we need to be in with him. That means that he wants to tweak this heart. So when we walk through the right door, we won't reject what we're going into. That's right. Yes. Yes. Because if your heart is overwhelmed, uh -huh. you won't recognize the goodness of God. Oh my God. You'll just see it as, oh my God, I got to do this. Ah, da, 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 da. Uh-uh. When your heart is pure, yes, so. you'll see things the right way. Yes. Amen. And you will accept your next level Amen. Yes. without being overwhelmed if you have the audacity to ask God for it. Mm. It comes your way and you can't handle it because your heart ain't right. My Jesus. Jesus, my God. Help me, Holy Ghost. My yes, God. Lord. So I'm asking him for stuff. Personally, but my heart has to be aligned with him Jesus. so that what he allows to manifest on my behalf, I have the capacity to handle my blessing. Yes, thank you. This is real, church. Yes, it is. This is real. Hallelujah. This is real. Last scripture. The Holy Scriptures testify in Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Yes. Test me. Know my anxious thoughts. See if there be any offense, offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen. Yes, Lord. Search me. Yes. Get me out of me. 
I'm overwhelmed with who I am right now because I ain't right. Amen. Oh, Jesus, help us. Yes, Lord. So it is crucial, he's saying, that I lead you during a supernatural shift. There are landmines in the spirit that the enemy has set against the righteous that only I, the true and living God, can navigate the righteous away from. Oh, my God. When you're not focused, you always step into a trap. When you're not focused, you always open your mouth when it ain't your business. I'm telling you now, because if you're in the moment actively engaged in kingdom living, you'll know what to say and what not to say. You'll know what not to repeat. You, you will even know uh, uh, not to even repeat a conversation that's none of your business. Jesus. I'm talking about everyday living church and applying the kingdom of God within your everyday activity so you're winning all the time. You know, you know, the simplicity of winning through Christ can be as simple as keeping your mouth shut at the right time. Amen. Oh God, help us. Help us. You, you, if you could ever experience not gossiping you had a victory yes yes i'm talking where we live church amen i'm talking about pleasing god i'm talking about living in a way in troubled times where god has your attention to the degree that you don't miss a step you don't miss your blessing and you operate in provision 24 7 365 who wouldn't want that amen god help me yes help me i'm closing Thank God. Thank you. I thank God. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 He says, my testing your hearts doing a shift means that I'm giving you the opportunity to reprioritize what's important to me on your behalf. Remember, it's my will that you have the very best. Amen. So he's checking you out. Not so much for you, but for him.